your back. Of course you are. Because this place is the origin. today. Raindrops never actually fall. They are motionless at the instances of time which constitute the falling process. Congratulations, Miss Sonetto. You are the fastest learner of our doctrine among all the visitors in the past half century. On behalf of all our writers, I award you this laurel wreath. No, no, I wouldn't have achieved this without your guidance. Those mathematic statements are really inspiring. I've learned a lot. But there's still something confusing me such as Pythagoras and his golden thigh, his memory of the previous lifetimes as the son of Hermes, and the transmigration for every 216 years. Could you please tell me more about these? Hmm. Why would people fail to see the charm of the matrices? This is not right. I need to spend more time on teaching. Anyone! Anyone! Save, save us! Thus my journey of art is doomed to fail. I really don't want to study maths anymore. Help. Timekeeper, you are here. I heard that you completed all the lessons on the scripture. This laurel wreath suits you well. Timekeeper, I'm sorry. At the assembly, I failed to understand the Arcanist's logic. It was totally different to the debates I have participated in. But now I have... That was not your fault, Sonetto. It is now behind us. I need to tell you something more important. I've signed a peace agreement with Arcana, and the price of breaking it is... death. What? So Manus Vindicte is also restrained by the stone bangle like we are. Yes. She put it on without hesitation. But I don't think her purpose would be as simple as hearkening the ancient wisdom. I attacked Manus' followers earlier as 37 asked me to. But I received no punishment from the bangle. Perhaps this island makes its own judgement on what to be classified as hostility. Like it has a mind of its own. Sonato, do not report this to the headquarters before we figure out how the bangle works. After all, there are many other things to investigate on this island, other than Manus Vindicte. I see. 
I will contact Miss Druvis and Miss Moiselle first and keep an eye on Arcana. Timekeeper, this island, the Manus's mask, and your suitcase are all immune to the storm. Does this mean we could collect more asymmetrical nuclide R samples? I tried to collect some samples last night in the outer region of the island. But the detecting device showed nothing. If we were to find out more, we have to go to the center area. What are you conspiring now? <gasps> do not poke the fire with swords, and do not jump over a crossbar. The assembly will not be held every time when there's a crime. Please take heed of my warning, and do not overstep the line. Learn a lesson from them. <gasps> Lilia! Didn't you say you have Regulus with you safely? <coughs> Apologies, Vertin. I was going to rescue Sonetto through a very creative underground tunnel. But things didn't quite go as planned. <coughs> Not a bad innovation for a simple clap on the forehead. If only you didn't miscalculate the location of the explosion. <sighs> this apple is grateful that it didn't get blasted into a puddle of apple jam. Warning. Shell cleaning required. Warning. I don't know why, but when I was in that cave, ideas kept flooding into my head. Though, judging by the outcome, they weren't all good ideas. On a routine patrol, I found them trying to break into the cave. I'm not surprised that an irrational number would try to trespass on forbidden grounds. But you two? The integer and the fraction? What were you doing with her? This is a serious crime. <sighs> Do we have to go through this debate again? It's... It's okay, Timekeeper. I will defend Regulus. I've thoroughly studied the scripture, and this time I'm sure I can do better. <sighs> Forget it. Forget it. It is unwise to waste time trying to understand an irrational number's motive. Besides, we should let the reckless take care of the least important matters. That's it. Regulus, you will come with me to clean the beach. Huh? Me? Again? Since you have too many floating points, words of discipline would not work on you. We would have suggested you study with the rest of the students here. Abstain from eating meat, bathe in cold water, rise with the Apollo star, study our doctrine, read the scripture aloud on the beach, so as to remove your floating points and purify your soul. What? I won't do any of that. But taking your peculiar character into consideration, I decided that some compulsory labor would be the better option. That's the best news of the day. I'd rather clean up the rubbish on the beach than be surrounded by people giving sermons all the time. At least the rubbish doesn't talk gibberish. I'd be dead if you didn't change your mind. Regulus, studying the scripture is not that scary. They will teach you and guide you until you take full command. Just like... taking lessons at school. Is that what schools are like? 
haven't you been to a school, Regulus? Ha <laughs> ha! A great pirate would not remember trivial matters as such. So, where were we? Which part of the beach needs to be taken care of by the great captain? My laboratory. Whoa! Where did you pop up from? Thirty-seven. Aren't you supposed to preach to the visitors? I've seen their numbers. A group of negative repeating infinite decimals. They will achieve nothing but to repeatedly step in the river of mistakes. I gave up on them. Fine. Those of you who are complicit in breaking into the cave will also be sent to labor. Sonetto and Lilia will come with me to patrol. Regulus, you can go clean the lab. As for Verton, you will assist 37 with her study of the emanation. Don't waste more time on the trivial matters of the phenomenal world, integers. That was the sole reason you were on this island, was it not? Don't let down your guard. The Arcanists on this island are not as easy to deal with as you imagined. Down in the cave, I heard some pretty alluring and intriguing anecdotes. Miss Lilia, this way. You will cover this area. Stay on the radio. Don't worry, Timekeeper. Lilia and I will keep an eye on Manus Vindicte. We are counting on you, Sonato. I have a feeling... We are coming closer to a big secret. Check! Watch your face! 
ไปเลยยอมซัมซัมฮักมามาจะต้องสิ่งไหนสิ่งสิ่งเลยโหแต่ยังเก่งเลยทำไมเฮ้ยRaindrops never actually fall. They are motionless at the instances of time which constitute the falling process.
what? What am I looking at? So your so-called sacred project is this gigantic IDM computer. I was curious about them during my stay in Laplace. Those later versions of the model are so much better than the 66 ones. But this one doesn't seem that far advanced to those. This is not a junk piece the man has sold you, is it? Items of the phenomenal world are all a waste. This one is long broken. After the emanation, we couldn't find anyone to repair it. Why do you keep referring to the storm as the emanation? What does the emanation mean? It is the waves of Numa. We are the expellees of the world of forms. We were banished to this damp and dark cave. Everyone here is obsessed with the fake light on the wall, but forgets to look for the truth. Numa, however, will lead us to escape the cave and return to a more supreme realm. Eh? You make it sound like we're living in piles of rubbish! Aren't we? Of course not! If you ask me, I'd say you have absolutely no idea how wonderful the outside world is. Because you have never left here to try it yourself. Dr Pepper, the music festivals, Rory Storm, the Hollies and the Rolling Stones. Oh, there are too many to count. If it weren't for this sick storm, I would still be riding a motorcycle in one of those races in London. Hmm. Your soul must be pretty contaminated. And the computer, they can calculate extremely large numbers within seconds, better than hundreds of thousands of you combined together. In the case of numbers, it's not the bigger the better. Also, this computer has never played a useful part in our study. Come on, mate. You people just leave it in a cave. It's like sending an infant to the kitchen and waiting for it to bring you dinner. Never mind, you'll see what I mean after I fix it. Can you fix an IDM Regulus? No, but I've seen the Laplace people do it. Shouldn't be too difficult, I assume. Oh, the dust! When was the last time you sent people down here to clean? Oh, some critters are nesting here. Oh, did I break into your party? Burton, come give me a hand. They won't let me touch him.
sword on. Plant it. The law is above all else. Two, two, one, down. Off goes on. The show's on, hounds. Just like in the train. Thou shalt make an atonement for thy sins in full. Time waits for no one, even for a great king. Oh, don't worry. I have prepared it all. I have prepared it all. An eye for an eye. A tooth for a tooth. A mice pot. Feel it pain and know with regret. Noble or lowly, sin shall be punished. I can't fail. Plan A. Invention of choice. <laughs> Pay for thy sins with thy blood. <laughs> A tooth for a tooth. An eye for an eye. The law is above all else. Two, two, one, down. <laughs> Using troops. You fixed it. It's great to have you clean the laboratory, Regulus. Your floating point immediately reduced. Oh, is that a compliment? Sounds like one to me. Thank you. It's a wordplay, Captain. Infinity minus any numbers still equals to infinity. Oh, fine, fine. I should have given up the idea of changing your eccentric sorting system a long time ago. What's the meaning of humans inventing computers if these machines were only left here for some critters to nest in? Thanks to you, now we can have a look at the previous models, Regulus. But it's a pity since it only has the data before 2003. Everything in the past four years has gone missing. This is our chronology, Virtin. From 1999 to 2007, the emanation has taken place seven times. In the initial four years, the emanation has a pattern. First, it brought us back to the 90s, then the 80s, and then the 70s. After that, it suddenly leaped to the 30s. In the subsequent three years, it took place twice. Every record here can perfectly match what is in the Foundation's files. Wait, these are the records before 2003, you say? But this one refers to the storm in 1966, which happened recently. These are indeed the records before 2003. What's following the records is our forecast. to say, you prophesied the 1966 storm four years prior to its occurrence. How is this possible? 
that you are clever enough to develop such a precise mathematical model, while at the same time you just let the IDM become the home of these critters. We just worked out the patterns and the number sequences. You made such precise prediction even without leaving the island. Oh, that's incredible. You don't need to go into a river to find out the pattern of its flow. Moreover, we would send people to observe in the phenomenal world. My mother was one of them. She is the co-author of this model. Nobody knows this computer better than her. So you have a mother too? You? 37. Where is your mother now? Like many people, she was restored to her true form. Since then, I took over this laboratory. The form, you said? 37? What is it? What kind of question is this? The form, or the essence, is what's left of you after all the fakeness has been peeled off. Raindrops never actually fall. They are motionless at the instances of time which constitute the falling process. My little jar. It's made of flesh and bones. We can temporarily entrust it with our well-proportioned geometric structures. What? You mean, there's an Arrestia in my hair? That can't be true. Show me. Well, I'm not very fond of the word hobby. It sounds like something you would give up easily. Something that doesn't last. Stop talking. It's time for a checkup. Please open your mouth. wishes to come along.
gives power to the earth. Each moment, now night. The story begins with a battle dog. At last, I will pray for you. Sorry. Raindrops never actually fall. They are motionless at the instances of time which constitute the falling process. part of my proof. You have brought me the Eureka. Terrific. I already have a wonderful demonstration in my mind. It unfolds like the folium of Descartes. It is interesting that the structure of the wilderness shell is similar to the Fibonacci spiral. Hmm. But it smells like a vulture. Do you have any idea as to why? Of course you are, because this place is the origin. <laughs> 